morning guys it's time to pick up the camera for the day so I got up went for a walk did all that jazz I have been take trying to take a photo with the oven pre-workout because you know those days where like no matter what like you just can't get a good photo so bad i'm not a model like anyway other than that i'm about to have some breakfast it's really hot today and i'm training legs today i've got squat variation so it's not squatting heavy or anything like that so i'm going to take you through my workout and all that sort of thing and also throughout this vlog i am going to do a little bit of something different and tell you guys five things that you don't know about me so throughout the video every now and then i'm just going to add in that like number one this is what you don't know about me so stay tuned because we've got a sick vid coming at ya Fun fact number one about me is that I used to have braces. So I'm going to find a really embarrassing braces photo of me from when I was in high school. So yes, you get to see what I used to look like in high school and you get to see what I look like with braces on. I need something to bring me back to life because I have headache, I see beer. This is all just excuses and me feeling sorry for myself. And I need to snap out of it. So I have three sets in and I'm done cutting this bad attitude, bad mental out. And it's happening now. So it's going to be the best rep I've ever, best set I've ever done. So did everyone. <laughs> everyone in the world. <laughs> they will now. Why? Because everyone watches your YouTube channel. Everyone. Everyone in here. All those people there. Ask you if you're okay. My friends always feel the need to tell me things. Seems like they're just happier than us these days. These days I don't know how to talk to you. I don't know how to be there when you need me It feels like the only time you see me Is when you turn your head to the side and look at me differently mm -hmm. And last night I think I lost my patience last night stop vlogging yesterday just forgot to pick up the camera like I always do so it is the next day and this morning I've already been to the gym uh, I did bench and deadlift lighter bench and deadlift so really trying to get that explosiveness off the floor in my deadlift and doing a pause um, at the bottom of my bench so really really good sort of work on technique and now i have been doing some spring cleaning so i had all of our protein in this drawer now there's just some sweet potato in there but i had them all in this cupboard but 
We have a friend who is moving in, so he needs cupboard space in the kitchen. So I've moved all our protein, all neatly stacked in here. So these are all the whey proteins. These are the BCAAs, aminos, and pre's, and then some protein sachets. And then that's not even all of it. I couldn't fit it all in there. So if I take you to my bedroom, I've got I've got the rest stacked up here, and then these two boxes also are just filled with supplements, like filled to the top. And those are the ones I couldn't fit in either of the boxes and I couldn't fit them in the cupboard. So they that's my protein stash. Like I don't know how much protein I'm meant to consume. Like it just it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. But I'll never run out of protein and I always get different flavours, so I never get sick of one flavour. Not complaining. Also, fun fact number two is that I have a degree in social science. So I majored in journalism um, and specifically public relations and event planning as well. So that sort of thing. I have not used my degree yet. Um, coming out of my degree, it's definitely, I don't have regrets about doing it. I'm really happy I've got a degree to to pursue if I need to um, and it is definitely one that I would find myself really enjoying that field of work but having done that degree I fell into a really deep passion for the fitness industry so I kind of took my gymming to the next level when I decided to share it on social media like Instagram and things like that and then also start doing YouTube videos and stuff I really just want to take this opportunity while I'm young and while I'm dead set certain that I have a passion for fitness to just try and pursue that as a career. Um, I don't want to half ass it by working um, in a really demanding career and trying to balance really trying to give 110% to the fitness industry as well. I just, I want to give this a hard crack at really trying to achieve a passion being able to pursue my passion for the rest of the rest of my life but with saying that if this doesn't turn into anything more than just a little a job on the side and things where I can inspire and motivate people just from doing videos and things like that and nothing much else comes of it I obviously know that I've got my degree, which I find I have so much enjoyment for. Like, it's something I really enjoy doing. Um, I've always got that to fall back on. So, that is fun fact number two. As I grab myself a snack to have before work, I have fun fact number three. I'm left-handed. So I write really strange. I've always had the issue of having like ink that rubs all over the side of my hand. So all those issues. I looked something about the way lefties do things. It's a little bit weird. <laughs> I used to, I grew up playing basketball ever since I was six. So I played basketball my whole life from six till 19 and then I pretty much stopped. So, but I'm telling you like I played like, it was pretty much from being 13 to 19, I was training or playing every single night of the week i had like a morning training i was in like intensive training programs we did like boot camps over weekends um i even went to america to play against american teams um i played for like a semi-professional team um in siebel 
things like that so I was pretty I took it really seriously and that's actually what got me into the gym is the fact that I was taking my basketball really seriously um, and I needed to gain some size because I am 163 centimeters so I'm really short and I was pr I'm pretty like small in terms of like if I'm gonna be short I need to be like big and strong so I got into the gym for that very reason and kind of didn't get out and then left basketball, that sort of thing. If you want more info on like what got me to where I am and you want to hear my full story on that, um, comment below and I might do a video on that one day if you guys are interested in it. But yes, fun fact number four is I was took my basketball pretty seriously. Um, my dad coached me throughout my whole life, my whole basketball career. My sister plays it. My little brother's obsessed with it. We're definitely a diehard basketball family. So, fun fact number four. Five things you don't know about me. Number five is that I eat some form of dessert every single night. So. If you've watched my full days of eating when I'm not comp prepping, you will see that it's got, at the end of the day, it's got a bowl of ice cream, it's got some chocolate, it's got something sweet. I have dessert every single night. It's just, that's just what I enjoy. I make sure, like I track my macros, I make sure it all fits. Like I always make room for dessert. I just like it's that mental thing I need dessert otherwise I'm gonna go insane so that's five things that you didn't know about me so now you do and I'll see you in the next video